my green screen. Hello and welcome to CNN's News of the Absurd. I'm Jared Polini and in honor of this new discovery that we no longer have a studio to work in, we're going to dedicate this entire episode to great discoveries. I discovered this when I was seven. <laughs> Don't touch it. Oh. Bear in mind, however, these discoveries really aren't meaningful. Quite simply, Paul and I just don't cover things that matter. However, this first discovery might, might just count as actual news. And it all started when Rich Schneider of Portland, Michigan decided to build a pond in his front yard. That part isn't real news. Last Friday, the excavator came out and started working on it, and he got quite a distance into it when all of a sudden he came across what was a large, large bone. Not knowing what exactly it was, a paleontologist from the University of Michigan, not Ross Geller, determined that it was the remains of an ancient mastodon, or as we in the idiot world call it, a big hairy elephant. The second one we found is a, an ulna, which is a front leg. And then we just started finding associated, just small pieces of bone, rib, some small pieces of tusk. Now the Schneider's yard has turned into a massive archaeological dig where they hope to find other remains from Michigan's ancient past, like perhaps a long lost thriving economy. But back to the big bone, the femur, because I know what you're all wondering, just how big was it? Well, here's a bit of comparison. That's a big bone, or a really small reporter. It's just been unbelievable just to think that, one, 13,000 years ago, somebody was walking around here, and two, an animal of that size was walking around here. So sometimes a great discovery isn't so much amazing as it is really cute. Potentially rabid, but cute. And that's the case with this next discovery, and it all happened inside a Pepsi machine. This is what we do every day, and when we can save an uh, animal's life, that's, that makes it much better. This is Ned the Skunk Whisperer, and when a couple of ladies discovered that live raccoons were stuck inside their complex's vending machine, he was the man to call to get them out safely. It is really refreshing. It renews my faith in mankind to see people call and want to do the right thing. Great! Kumbaya! Get him out of there, Ned. And so, with a little coaxing, the raccoons were safely removed. True, it was an amazing vending machine discovery, but not nearly as amazing as the one we recently had right here. Amazing. Finally, we end with the shocking story about what was discovered inside one woman's home in Chesapeake City, Maryland. I'll give you a hint. It was a whole bunch of cats inside of her home. I'm not really good at hints. This is Janice Brandt, and recently, she was accused of improperly housing over 200 felines on her property, which would be more than enough to qualify her for the unique distinction of cat lady. However, Janice says 200 cats was blown way out of proportion. If I had 200 cats, sweetheart, I would be gone. Mm -hmm. No, I have approximately 57 right now adults. Okay, so it's not 200 cats, just 57. Judges? But when county officials showed up to inspect her property, they gave her a passing grade. There's no law saying how many cats you can have as long as they're well maintained. That said, officials did have to remove several cats, this being our story's big discovery. And for that, we turn to WMAR reporter Roosevelt Leftwich. Brand says the only cats that were taken out of her house were the dead ones that she had kept in the freezer, about 20. Why were they in the freezer? She says, where else would you put them? I want to show you so people don't get this demented look. Don't die on me, little cat. Okay, I got this, this bundle, okay? Now, what is that? 
Okay. Janice says she kept the 23 dead cats in the freezer for storage until she had a chance to take them to get cremated. However, she admits she fell a little behind. Hey, who wants an otter pop? I'm an animal lover. I just can't see an animal being hurt. And, you know, accusing me of hurting an animal, having sick in. I spend most of my, this is what I do. This is my social life. I don't drink, I don't smoke. I just keep dead cats in my freezer. Next week, I might karaoke. Well, that's all for this Great Discoveries edition of News of the Absurd. I'm Jared Bellini, and I promise you, I have no dead cats in my freezer. Maybe one. Seriously, what happened to our studio? Oh, we're twittering. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Woo! I discovered this when I was seven. Oh my god, <laughs> it makes a noise. I told you because my belly is full of coffee. Oh. Is anybody trying to